Hey there, geographers, it's Angela here again. Time to go over, there's a map for that. And you're like, well, I've heard that somewhere before. Yeah, absolutely. You've heard there's an app for that. There's an app for anything that we wanna do in life. We wanna get fit, we wanna eat well, we wanna have a great schedule. Man, there's lots of amazing things we can do with our apps. But guess what? A lot of us don't realize that geography forms a foundation for literally anything we want to do with our life. If it's science, if it's sports, if it's health, if it's something to do with social justice, there's a map for that. If you're into art, there are maps that you can make, maps that you can find. If you're into art, food, man, there's a map for that. And so this is your opportunity to go out there and look for a map that represents something. We call these thematic maps because they represent a theme. These aren't maps that tell us how to get from point A to point B. These are maps that are communicating something to us. Like take this for example. This map is showing us pop versus soda. Did you realize in the United States, not everyone calls soda soda? What? Yeah. This map has a legend. This legend here is telling us that if areas are colored in this sort of blue color, then people in those areas are gonna call it soda. If you are located in an area that's this sort of yellow color, you're gonna be calling it pop. And if you're in this fuchsia color, chances are you call it Coke. But then you're gonna ask me, well, hang on a second. What if I want a Sprite? and I have to walk up and ask for a Coke? Yeah. When you're in these parts, you will say, can I have a Coke Sprite? Can I have a Coke Dr. Pepper? And guess why? The Coca-Cola company was founded in Atlanta, Georgia. There's a reason why people in this part of the United States call a soda a Coke instead of calling it pop or soda. Now, if you're like, oh man, you know, I'm from Mississippi and I'm from Jackson. Yeah. Well, take a look. If you're from one of these small places, people in Jackson, they don't call it Coke. They call it pop. And there are some places that you're going to find in Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. They call it soda. Now, Geography discovers patterns in everyday life. Maps are the tool that we use to communicate. And so it really allows us to use our powers of observation to figure stuff out. Geography is the most visual subject on planet Earth. And so for all of you who are real visual learners, and just to let you know, most of us are, then geography is for you. And guess what? This is going to be your opportunity to find a map that you find interesting. Make sure that it's a map that represents something and that it's not a referential map. It's not a map of just like Colombia or Mexico or something like that. It needs to be a map that represents something. So if you're like, well, I wanna use a map of Mexico, cool. Then maybe show us a population map of Mexico or show us a map of who speaks Spanish in Mexico. You're like, doesn't everybody? Uh, no. There are people who live in Mexico that speak native Mayan languages. Uh, yeah, not everyone speaks Spanish in Mexico. If you are an artist, if you're an Asian artist, if you're a black artist and you're like, I feel alone. I feel like not a lot of people know me or know my struggle or know my art. Guess what? There are maps out there for black artists. Where can I find other black artists? Where can I find other Asian actors, actresses, things of that nature. There's a map for that. Are you into real estate? What are you into? Food? Most popular drive through most popular grocery stores. You name it, there is a map out there for you, my friends. If you want to look at places with the most amount of trees, crime, anything like that, you are going to pick out a map. The most important thing is that when you share this map and you click reply, you need to make sure that this map is viewable. 
please do not just insert a link. Make sure that this map is viewable as this is a discussion. Remember also that in your discussions, it does ask you usually to answer a few questions. You have a choice. You can either write the answers to these questions or you can respond in an audio or video format, which means that you can click reply. You're going to add your map so that we can all see it. A clickable link is not acceptable. Then what you're going to do, if you don't feel like writing your answers, if you feel like speaking your answers, saying your answers, and maybe you don't want your face viewable, fine. You click this button right here that's got like the TV with the notes. You click record, and then you can go from there. You can click webcam off. No, I'm really not down with my face being viewed, but I'm okay with my voice. If you are not into writing, this class is for you. It may seem like there's going to be a lot of writing, but there are and almost in every assignment, you will have the opportunity to speak your answers. The only thing you will need to post for this is to post your map and then either write the answers to these questions, talk about them or video yourself. Then as always with every discussion, once you post, you will have the next few days to respond to three of your classmates. I really look forward to looking at your maps and for us to really understand the power of maps and of visually communicating with people. It's amazing.